Today we are going to continue to discuss the parts of the semi-trailer. We are going to talk about the semi-trailer tire today. Not the tire on your car, not the tire on the truck, but at the picture it shows to you the tire on the trailer, like this one, this one. So every trailer must have a tire, like this. This is a trailer tire. There are many tires on the different vehicles, like this one. The small car usually have a small tire, SUV tire, and uh, bus tire. Even in the truck, even in the truck, we have uh, two types of tires. One is the truck tire, another is the trailer tire. So we are not going to discuss uh, any other tire today. We are going to only discuss about the semi-trailer tire today. So it is usually the tire similar like the truck, but a little bit different. It usually has on-road tire and off-road tire and uh, high-speed tire, and heavy loading tire. You can see it uh, has a lot of uh, different regions with uh, many different uh, requirements. It has uh, also many different uh, size, such like this, like uh, 10R20, 11R20, 12R20 and uh, something like a 12R22.5. You might start to ask, what's the difference between the 20 and 22.5? Okay, let's have a look about the semi-trailer tire we usually use. So the semi-trailer tire we can categorize them with two. The first one, we can call them humanitic tire. It has the air inside. The second one, we can call it solid tire. It has no air inside. It's just a rubber cushion. For the humanitic tire, we have a bias tire made by the nylon. Uh, Play with different uh, play. You can have uh, the bias tire now is uh, already being replaced by the radio tire. We use steel as the play, so you can have a stronger and uh, safer tire. So for all those radio tire, we have inner tube tire and a tubeless tire. Inner tube tires they usually name it like this way. The tubeless tires they usually name it like this way. It is using the different rims. To talk about the tire, we might we must to know the rims, but we are not going to talk rims today. We are going to talk about the tire, semi-trailer tire only today. So Let's have a look about the radio tire, which is has two types, inner tube tire and a tubeless tire. This is a picture. Our employee is mounting the tubeless tire on the rim. This is the rim. You can see it's one piece rim. It's only a uh, one piece without any separate in this rim. So our employee usually pull the tire and uh, try to mount it, then use the machine. Or if we have uh, a lot of uh, trailer orders, we usually do it uh, manually. 
because uh, the machine is uh, has its own capacity. We can have our own people to do the tire mounting. This picture is not a tubeless tire. This picture is showing you the rim has two pieces. See, here is a piece of the rim. So whatever, whenever you see a rim like this, is for the inner tube tire. So you can see it quite easy from uh, this, this point of view. See here, you can see a gap here. A gap to show you this tire is inner tube tire. This one you can see is tubeless tire because it's one it's one piece rim and the tire is cooperating with the rim because it must have a zero gap around the rim. So because they have no inner tube, the air must be holding between the tire and the rim together. This picture shows you the view how many tires we usually need for several trailers and this is before we do the assembling of the tire and rims for the inner tube tire they have different pieces also you can see the rubber flat and the inner tube it is usually three piece the tire itself and the, the rubber the rubber cover and inner tube. The tire is also have the three pieces, the main rim and the rim run and uh, another part to fix it. This is a picture to show you the inner tube tire. This is a picture to show you the inner tube tire rim is different pieces. So this is after mounting we put in uh, Part of our yard waiting for the assembling. This is our employee is assembling the inner tube tire. This picture is showing you the tubeless tire rim and the tubeless tire. So this is the solid tire we were talking about here. The solid tire. We cannot assemble it without a hydraulic gesture. We use a hydraulic jack to do the assembling because the tire is solid cushion and the rim is thicker. This is a picture. We are mounting the tubeless tire on the tubeless rim. Okay. This picture is showing you how the tube tire looks like when we are assembling see the rim could be the different part we need to do some uh, put some powder on the flat of the tire and then we assemble them together this rim could be the three part like uh, to make it become one or you can have the rim like uh, what I just showed to you to with uh, uh, to do it with a rim on top like this one. This is having a rim on top and uh, we need to cover the rim on the rim. So this is after we assemble it. We put in the air to the inside, the pressure need to the 10 bar, usually 9 or 8 bar is also okay, but it is usually 10. This is what we are doing. This is the powder we are using to uh, do the assembling of the tire. You can see the tire size is not a permanent number, it's just a number 24 is not a 24.5 something like that this is the 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 rim 
with different pieces. This is a rim with different pieces. This is the rim we assemble. And after we assemble the rim with, and the tire together, then we put the tire on the trailer and then fasten the knot. That's how we do it. The difference between the truck tire and the trailer tire is the trailer tire pattern. We call the design on the surface of the tire. It's pattern. The pattern is following wheels. It's not a steering wheels. It's not a running wheels. It's just the following wheels because the trailer never have power to run itself. It always follow with a tractor or a prime mover. Here you can see the side of the tire. So it looks like this. This is a picture of a solid tire. This is a picture of a humanity tire. You can see the difference is quite obvious. Here is a picture of a bias tire. Here is a picture to show you how the bias tire looks like. The bias tire is usually cut together like this, like 11-20. So this dash means the needle, and this R means the radio. It represents the radio. So you can see from the number of tire to recognize it's a nylon tire. And you can see the nylon tire looks weaker and uh, less stronger than the radio tire. This one is a nylon tubeless tire because it has the same rim 22.5 this one is a light truck tire it is also nylon here is a written the rim suited to it's a 4.5 inch 14.5 uh, inch this is how it looks from this side of the nylon tire Tire has many different uh, brands. In China, we have a lot of brand uh, tire. The most famous brand, you must know it already, like a Bridgestone, this one, uh, or the Michelin, or Goodyear, Continental. You can find uh, many different tires brand in China, but so you can also choose those tires because those tires price is very expensive. To talk about the solid tire, we usually use the solid tire on the terminal trailers because the terminal trailer never run very fast. So you can have a solid tire to mount it on and leave it there. So the tire surface would be consumed day by day, later it will be consumed uh, all of this, then you can change your tire. You can see this one is smaller than the first one we were seeing. And this is a totally consumed solid tire. Here is a picture to show you the advantage why those terminal companies is using the solid tire. Because you are not going to face the tire explode issue. You are not facing the pressure checking issue. You are saving a lot of manpower. And for most of the time, if you have the damage or very rough road condition, the solid tire is no problem. You can consume the rubber outside and it just run off. The wear off will not affect the operation at all. Here is a new picture. Uh, here is a picture of the new solid tire. And here is a picture of uh, how it uh, is consuming. 
from this picture, you can see the steels and the nails go inside the tire very deeply, but it not affect the operation at all. There is even a very huge, small, uh, strong steel bar get inside of the tire. You can still use it, but later you just uh, exchange the rim to the solid tire and it uh, still be working. So that's how we. That's how we uh, use tires on the different trailers. Regarding the pattern, we have a different pattern on different uh, trailers. You can see most of the pattern is like this, because the tire is doing the following a lot. So you just need the pattern like this. It will be good to spread the heat on the road. Of course, if you have the tire pattern like this, it is also okay. This is also okay. Those we call it a mixed pattern. It is good performance on the road and also good performance off the road. You are not only driving your trailer on the road all the time. There is a once or twice or maybe a 30% for some client is driving those tires off the road. So those mixed pattern would be good for them to protect their tires. So the tire is basically looks like this on the trailer. In different trailers, it looks uh, almost the same. This picture is showing you the tire on the low bed trailer, and this picture is showing the tire on the low bed trailer too. And this trailer, you can easily recognize its tire on the skeleton trailer. For all those tires, you can easily find a label to show you the information of the tire. This information is the pattern number. You have this number of the pattern for this brand, Linglong Tire. It arrives its brand here. And here is the modern number of the tire. The size of the tire is 12R22.5 with 16 player. And this is the speed index number for the tire. If your tire does not have this, uh, you can also find those information on the side of the tire, like here, very easily. Here is a picture our employee is uh, rolling the tire to the workshop to do the job. You usually receive the tires like this. The tire, uh, this is an inner tube tire, you can easily recognize. If it is a radio tire, you usually receive it like this. You can see the difference. The difference is it has uh, many pieces for the inner tube tire. The radio tire has just uh, one piece. And later, if uh, we finish the mounting, we usually stock it like this, of course. And here is a picture of the, another type of uh, pattern. Those type of pattern is for the different use, like a turning or the steering, something like that. On the side of the tire, you can find the, those uh, information on the tire label we were just showing. You can try to look at it very, very closely and you can find more information, even more information than the label. But if you have the label, the label is more um, easier for you to read and uh, what brand it is and uh, what the pattern number and the side, the size of the tire and uh, thickness of the tire. Here is uh, another pattern. Here is another pattern for your information. Here is another label for your information. Here is another label for you to say. So all those labels is showing you different informations and you can either find it on the label or you can either find it on the side of the tire. The 
service life and after sales of the tire, it is usually like a 20,000 kilometers or a half year, which come the first. During the using, you might uh, finding the tire is having the problem like this. If you are driving those tires in a very, uh, very uh, rough road, your tire might consume very fast. So those, those tires is having some problem. You need to change it in case it uh, keeps giving you more damage. When you're buying tire, please uh, really be careful. You are buying the tire which are made from the second-hand tire, like this one. If you buy it from the second-hand tire, the crown of the tire, we really call it crown, which is the surface of the tire, is very easy to fall off. Whenever you are driving those trailers on the highway, if it is fall off, it is going to be very dangerous. It is not worthful to buy cheap tire. Please make sure your tire is not a renew tire, like this one. You can see the employee is putting a crown on used tire, but that's a little bit dangerous. But the price is uh, quite cheap, so some of uh, our client is trying to use it to save their operation cost. Here is a video to show you how you can change your tire and to mount it, to assemble it on your rim, and how you need those tools to do the job if you have to, if your driver have to. You can easily find those videos on the YouTube, so just to show you the rough way. Like this one here is another picture how you can do it without those powder. You can use oil. Now, this is a definitely a tubeless tire. A tubeless tire, you can do it with a rim only, without a inner tube. Here is a video to show you how we are mounting the solid tire with a rim. This is, uh, we're using the different type uh, we're using the inner tube rim and to use the hydraulic jack to press the tire into the rim. Otherwise, you cannot do it by yourself because it's quite heavy and it needs a lot of pressure to do it. Here is uh, how we do it in the different way. We use uh, the hydraulic machine and uh, to do the press. Here's a picture is tire. Also, you can design it like this. We all design those by ourselves. If you don't have those type of a special equipment and you need to do it uh, urgently, you can try to consider to use the pressure uh, machine, but press machine is a little bit dangerous. Try to be careful. Some of our clients is buying the tire separately from those uh, from uh, our trailers, so we ship it like this way. We use container to load the tire inside without the rim because you can load more inside. Then we ship the container from China to their yard so they can open the container and unload the tire from it. Then they can have the tire without the rim without our trailer. So if you have a uh, needing for the tires, we can also give it to you like this way. Okay, um, thank you very much for your time. And uh, that would be all for today's video. I hope you guys like it. Thank you very much. Bye.